Hello, um, my name is Alisa. And I am Harana. And um, we'll be presenting Safe Navi, a navigation app uh, focusing and valuing transportation safety. Um, ni, ni hao, we are sure, Alisa. Okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways, that, 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 was, that was the best I can do. No, no more, no more. No more of me embarrassing myself. Anyways. Um, so, <laughs> for some context, we are both female students from Japan. Um, I am a junior student in high school, and she is a middle school, school student. Um, probably the youngest here today. And... <laughs> And we often found ourselves very conscious about where we walk and where we don't walk. And I was always told by my parents to stay out of, uh, you know, unlit roads, uh, narrow alleyways and like dangerous areas so that I can always stay safe when I walk around on my own. And especially traveling alone as a young female, safety was a major concern that we always stayed alert of. We notice the safety on the street were many people's concern. When we asked parents if they have ever told their children to stay away from dangerous areas or street, more than 91% of their answers that they have. Additionally, as we interviewed a woman who lived in New York City as a grad student, we learned how careful she was with staying safe. We always took the wrong way around instead of making the dangerous shortcuts so dark to read. Uh, oh. <laughs> From a very short distance, she was always very aware of her safety and always made sure she chose the safety road possible. Um, we found this particularly to be a problem, especially because safety is assured only when we know exactly which routes to go um, at what point um, in the day. And usually when we go to new places, we would use, you know, navigation apps like Google Map or Apple Map. But a huge issue with that is that they prioritize um, sh uh, navigating shortest paths so much that they never actually consider the safety of the route. And so as a result, these apps often try to navigate us through dangerous um, areas and sketchy areas or uh, narrow alleyways. <laughs> As a solution, we made Safe Navi. By augmenting the navigation algorithm, Safe Navi supports personal safety of transportation from one piece to another instead of taking the shortest path possible. The application looks for the safe roads that still take the users to the distance in a reasonable amount of time. Um, here is a little demo of our app. Uh, so the users, uh, this is going from the current location to a certain station. Um, and you can see that the apps, uh, the navi, the road kind of goes through like the widest um, and the biggest roads possible. Um, instead of going through the little ones in between um, and to get to the station, which um, we tried this on Apple Map and Google Map. It doesn't happen so often as this app because, um, you know, the widest roads aren't always con convenient routes. So often they go through like the narrower ones, which are not safe per se. Um, to provide a little detail on the algorithm, I hope that means police station. If it does not, it means police station. Um, but we kind of looked through the police stations because we found that police stations in Japan are always located near uh, one of the wider roads. roads. So um, it goes through like the most convenient police station, which uh, consequently navigates us through the wider roads instead of um, smaller unlit roads when possible. In the future, 
we will run more experiments to make the navigation algorithm better and conduct user tests to improve the user experience of safe navy. We also want to explain the area outside of Japan so that everyone can use the app. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.